Hey there, and welcome back to another episode of D-Ray's Garage, where today you're gonna to see how we go from this to this. That's right, your windshield. The one thing keeping bird poop and rocks out of your face while you're driving, and hopefully with enough clarity that you're not hitting anything else yourself. So enjoy this very basic detailing video requested by Ian and uh, more to come. So enjoy quarantine or maybe quarant clean. Oh my gosh, how does he come up with this stuff? If we're gonna clean this up, we need to get those wipers out of the way. So to get the wipers out of the way, we go in here. I'm not sure how I'm gonna, here, I'm gonna have to sit you down. And I need to simultaneously hold down eight and nine while well, putting this in position two. And you can see there, they came up. To put them back down, you do the same thing, except using numbers two and six. And we'll do that later on. All right, so I'm gonna spray some water on here so we can see how it's sheeting off right now, or whether it's sheeting off right now. And we'll compare later on. So as you can see, until the water gets heavy enough, it's just kind of sitting on the glass or hopefully we can get this silky smooth to a point where you can run your hands over it, it's totally smooth. Not just leave smudges obviously, but then, you know, we can get that water to not be a problem. And the, you know, how often do you do this? I do it about once a year. And this, uh, these, these, this isn't as rough as when I did the Porsche last, but We'll, uh, we'll go through some methods. I'm gonna compound polish, I'm gonna clay bar, I'm gonna use a plastic razor, and then we'll probably identify some of the uh, imperfections on here also. And then we'll finish with compound and polish, so I'll cover up the car a little bit to protect from overspray. And then at the end we'll spray, we'll put some Rain-X on here as the final coat. See what we get side by side. So first up here, I'm just gonna use a plastic blade, which I highly recommend uh, having for car projects. You do want to keep it lubricated. And you probably, you might be able to pick it up on the mic. There is some uh, scratchiness here as we're working the glass. Work it both directions, probably a little bit more scientifically than I am here, but really, I don't think there's a ton of really big dirt or big gunk on here right now. Okay, so yeah, not much on that blade. I'm gonna use, a, you can clay bar this. I have this little clay sponge affair. Same general idea where it'll just help uh, have some abrasion, release any embedded road debris, etc. Just keep it nice and moist and loose. Yes. I like to do a big square the middle. Not perfect, and that's okay. Next up, I'm gonna put on some eraser, which is a oil and polish cleaner, just again, in the spirit of getting any contaminants off of the surface here before we go after it. Now, other tools, let's say you don't have a clay bar. It's not a horrible idea to uh, use, uh, what is it called? A magic eraser. That is an invaluable detailer's tool. I know people will probably 
scare you into thinking it's the cor most coarse sandpaper out there. It really isn't. It's, uh, it's come in handy on many, many occasions. So I bet I'd use that. Otherwise, uh, you could also try, so quad zero wire wool, I think that's what it's called. Some people use that, but I found it gave me micro abrasions on the Porsche over there. So I'm not a huge fan of it. And even to some degree, there is risk that using the dual action polisher here today will put some in there. But I really found that between the you know wet wire wool starts to rust pretty quickly. And I think it might've just been too abrasive, at least for that glass. So I've kind of removed that from my windshield regime. So I think you're gonna notice here where I switched sides because I, I think I forgot to hit the record button. I didn't lose any footage, you liar. Anyway, what you got here is a 15 millimeter dual action Rupes polisher. We can use any polisher pretty much. And then the medium and ultra fine compounds from Rupes. And then I had corresponding pads to support that which less significant on glass, much more of an important factor when you're working on paint. But anyway, watch the cross hatch pattern and try and avoid too much overspray. This step is by no means required, but certainly enhances results. So you use circular motions to apply it. We'll wait for it to haze. We'll do that again, and then we'll clear it all off. So I've given this, you know, four or five minutes here and I'm going to uh, make apply another coat, but for those uh, earlier I was mentioning, here's the Magic Eraser. It's a very mild abrasive. It'll work well if you don't have clay bar or anything like that, and a lot of households have this hanging around, so don't spend the $20 on a clay bar for your windshield if you've got this, unless you're gonna do your whole car, and then at that point it does make sense to go more purpose-driven, because this on clear and paint will make detailers turn pretty hard against us DIYers and amateurs like myself. And then here's the quad aught, or it's got a cool name, I can't remember what they call it, but it's that 4-0 steel wool, which I'm showing you it because I don't recommend it. So still a pretty full bag, as you can tell, because I really try not to use it. We'll let it haze up one more time, clean it off. And it's time to start uh, spraying the water and seeing if indeed you can tell side to side. And I'll move the camera maybe to a better angle so you can see whether or not we got the desired effects and uh, the invisible value of going deep cleaning on a windshield like this. All right, so this side's good and hazed up. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take it off with my favorite glass cleaner, which if you do nothing else and you just wanna clean your glass, invisible glass available at certainly a lot of the uh, automobile stores, automotive stores, as well as a Walmart, and it's very inexpensive, and I go through it like the clappers, but at that price, that's okay. So we're just gonna remove this haze here. And then if you're thinking about, oh, you're using a lot of towels. Well, that's true, and I have a lot of towels here. If you wanna find towels, I'm not sponsored, but hey, if you want to call me, make me one of the 
Grandbassadors, I think they call it or something. Uh, the Rag Company, I can't remember if it's theragcompany.com or something like that. If you go there, they've got a lot of great microfiber and purpose built at really reasonable prices. And they run sales all the time. So I have a lot more towels than I should, but thanks to them, I don't really feel like I uh, did too badly on it. Let's see how it goes. All right, side by side, that's the difference. Just gonna go put the service uh, wiper down. Position two and two and six, I think it is. Let's try. Three, two, six. So let me, I wanna bring you in closer to the glass here and I should have done it before because yes, there's imperfections here and here. These are rock chip marks. Uh, yeah, a couple down here. But if you look generally across the glass, very um, smooth, very shiny. And it took just a lot of general road gunk and grime off of the car. So where I was a little bit concerned I needed a new windshield, I don't really think that's the case right now. Imperfections there, rock chips here. This is all completely clean. But yeah, far worse before. And hopefully you can see from the purity of the reflections here. That, that's pretty good. So there you have it. That's basically in, what is that, six, seven steps. You can do some of those along the way and still get decent results. Hopefully uh, you found a, at a minimum, you know, get yourself a little magic eraser, get yourself some of that magic invisible glass stuff. And uh, my guess is you get 90% of this result. And then if you wanna go that extra 10%, you can give it a buff, give it some Rain-X or whatever your preferred glass water sheeting, water beading product is. And make comments down below if you think you got one better than Rain-X, which I know they're out there. And uh, yeah, happy cleaning everyone. Be memorable, be well, and I hope to see you on the next one.